Hey guys, Nikki here and I am finally here with my long awaited perfume collection all right so before we get any further this video will be sponsored by Oceana's thank you for sponsoring this video most of my recent perfumes have came from Oceana's so of course I will leave the link below and a discount code for you guys in case you see something that you like you can take advantage of it so I do have four new scents from Oceana's so I will show you guys those scents first Please note that any perfume in this video, almost, you can get from Oceanos. So don't forget to check them out. The link will be right below in the description. So before we get into the perfume itself, I want to discuss how I store my perfumes. Of course, you know you should keep them in a dry, cool area. No light or anything like that. So I got this stand from Ikea, which will be linked below. Listen to me, guys. This stand is extremely hard to get. I had to sign up for notifications, um, and then they won't ship it right now. And then um, I just had to keep checking the stores in my area to see if it was in stock. It do come in white and black and it is just the best case and the best thing about this case is it is only 60 bucks a lot of people use these cases to store like their action figures their collectors items and what make it so great is the fact that they are only sixty dollars but what make it not so great is they are hard to get probably because they are excellent quality and only 60 bucks okay so nicole put this together for me it took a minute but she got it it said that you need two people to put it together but i think you can get it done on your own because i watched the lady put hers together by herself so i lit the case up with plain lights from amazon which will be linked for below also my perfume stand is also on amazon but it is not prime and it is not 60 bucks it is 200 bucks so if ikea is just doing way too much for you i will link alternatives below so the lights came in a four pack led lights push start battery operated just some very little simple lights to light the case up to give it that department store feel so that is what i wanted with those lights okay so now let's discuss what i actually store my perfumes in these all came from burlington coat factory every single last one of them i wanted a little bling of course i'm with the bling and the shebang and the all that so yeah i went with these and none of these were over 20 bucks none of them i don't even think any of them was over 15 bucks Burlington Coat Factories, Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshall. They're called vanity trays, bathroom trays, perfume trays, whatever. And these are on Amazon too, so I will link them below. So, also, over here is not actually perfume. They are bottles that you can put your perfume in if you want. And this right here is a perfume dropper. So, this is one of my perfume cases right here. Alright, so I don't have any perfume actually in them. These are just a cute additive to put on your vanity and girl, it just looks so good and so glamorous, okay? So, I'm going to move this out the way. I'm going to go by brand. I'm going to try to. And there's a couple of things I want to discuss about the scents I like and etc. Before we move further, that will help you guys. So guys, let's just tell the truth about it. Fragrances are really popular on YouTube right now. Um, that's anything with YouTube. Once it becomes a trend, it's just rolls and rolls and rolls. I have been doing perfume collection videos for ages. I still have a couple that I will leave below. Back in the day, I used to collect pretty bottles because I wore the same scent all the time. So my main focus was the bottle, okay? Is the bottle cute? And then I realized, girl, I'm collecting all this stuff. It's getting old. It's pointless. So I purged all of that. So mostly all of my perfumes are new. All of them. Um, Now I'm a little... I'm a lot grown and I want grown sexy stuff that don't mean I don't want some feminine flirty fragrances but I just have a whole different taste I have a whole different everything about life and so I want my stuff to I want to walk in a room and they like yeah she a boss you get what I'm saying but I do not like masculine scents at all you'll see that in the video I am a flirty fruity grown fruity powdery 
fresh scent type person I don't like a lot of deep woods and etc so that will help you guys out a lot because if I say I like something and you like the same type of scents I like that will guide you all right so just because I don't like a fragrance that does not mean you want it's just I prefer a certain type of smell and that's what I like also I wanted to clear up that there are two different type of perfume there are a lot of type of perfumes but this is what I have realized you have to pay a little bit more but but I like perfumes okay I like the perfumes with the oil in it if you are from like France or anything like that they joke and say the other type is toilet water <laughs> et toile or whatever toilet water because basically it's water and it's the cheaper ran down version of it so I am a perfume type person you guys know the type of scents I like so let's hop into what Oceana sent me. If I forgot anything, I will let you guys know along the way. But I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. <laughs> so girl, I got to get to it or we will be here all night. Okay, so let me start with the new scents from Oceana. So like I mentioned earlier, Oceana did send me four new scents. So they sent me Marc Jacobs Decadence. And this is what they look like right here. So... This is already one of my favorites. They, I showed this in my last perfume haul when I got perfume for my birthday. This is the exact same thing as this right here. This is Decadence and this is Divine Decadence. Except they remade it to be a little bit more lighter and airy. But it has the exact same fragrance. Okay. So my biggest but. So my battle with this perfume is which color do I keep? My mom main name is green and all that. So of course I'm going to keep this bottle. I'm going to actually gift this one to one of my cousins because I don't need two bottles of the same perfume and I got all of this perfume unless it's one of my absolute, 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 absolute favorites, which we'll get to. But this right here is definitely nighttime for me. A lot of you guys say you get pickle out of it. I don't get pickle. I just get something soft, feminine, but strong. It has a statement to it. I'm not going to go over notes. I'm just going to tell. That's what I forgot to say. I'm just going to tell you guys where I would wear it. How I would wear it. And why I would wear it. Because girl. I ain't got time for all that. You can go on the website and stuff and read the notes. But like I said. I would be here all day if I do that. I just love it. I had it before. Dillard's actually gifted it to me. A lot of these fragrances Dillard's gifted to me. Because I do meet and greets for them. Um, a lot of these fragrances Dillard's gifted them to me. And I like gifted them to people at like my makeup classes and stuff. And had to repurchase them. Because sometimes you just have to revisit the scent. Try it in a different setting. And you'll like it all over again. And that's exactly what happened with that. I did not like it at first. And then I fell in love with it. So also I will be purging in this collection so I probably I can't put it on Poshmark because it's perfume put it on my website or something some of these scents have to go and we're going to discuss that also. So Oceana's also sent over my Burberry which I probably should have got my Burberry blush. I'm trying to say all that at one time and it's just not coming out. This isn't bad at all. It just isn't something I would reach for. It's very basic. Very very basic. I would not buy this if I had to. I would not. So I, I highly doubt I keep this, okay? Um, it's a big bottle. The bottle is okay. Um, but like I said, it's not something I reach for every day. And I don't want anything in here that's just like a waste. So what I might do is like as I buy new perfume, just replace them. Like keep this in my collection. Then when I buy something that I really love, replace it and sell the one I don't really like. Instead of like selling all of them at one time. But no, this is this is not my cup of tea. It's not bad. It's just not anything spectacular about it. So another scent that was sent over by Oceana is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. They sent the little bottle. Um, This smells awesome to me. But it's an everyday scent. This is a, I just got out the shower. This is a, I'm about to run to the mall. This is a I'm about to go to brunch with the girls type scent during the day. Very springy, of course, because it has floral in it. But I really, really like it. I'm not really big on florals, but I really, really like this for some reason. Really, really like it. It's just fresh and floral. 
and it smells really good it's soft and feminine and the bottle is cute it's not overly done it's just perfect now the last and final scent that was sent to me from Oceana's this round was Burberry Her. You guys hype this up so much. And I'm just not getting what y'all are getting. What are y'all getting out of this? But I do like it and I am going to keep it. It's just not hype. Y'all be hyping some stuff up. No, I ain't going to say that. It might, uh, I just said we all got different nose. This right here is candy i smell candy i smell sweet i smell baccarat a little bit am i tripping am i tripping sorry if y'all hear that banging the colors make designing me a closet in there y'all i'm gonna keep this because it do smell good you can sit it sideways like that but the way y'all talked about it <laughs> you'll think <laughs> it's okay it's okay I think, do every woman need it? Yeah, it's a good daytime scent. Just like Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Brunch, daytime, getting out the shower, something like that, okay? Springy daytime to me. So that's everything Oceana sent this round. So let's just keep it pushing. I'm going to start my Versace tray. Versace is one of my favorite perfume um, scents ever, okay? I mean, I've never gotten a Versace scent and it failed me. So, of course, I'm keeping all these. So let's just go through it. Here is Versace Yellow Diamond. And here is Versace Bright Crystal. The same thing. They're not my favorite Versace scents. Would I buy them again? Probably not. But do they smell good? Yes. So they almost smell just alike to me. I can't even lie about that. I almost do. I can't smell nothing like that. They almost smell just alike to me. They serve the same purpose. Daytime brunch, out the shower, going on a date during the daytime. Um, just the everyday get up and go to work type scent. Nothing spectacular about them to me though. Does that make sense? You're going to be able to tell the scents I like because clearly, clearly. This is Versace Vernitas. It is the older scent. I am on my third bottle of this. It is springy. Oh! Oh, I love this scent. It's just so fresh to me. It's nothing sweet about it. It's nothing floral about it. It's just fresh. Like fresh linen straight out the washer or the dryer. Every day, go to work, everyday type scent. Love, 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 love this. And that is Versace Bonitas. All right. So, here's two new Versace scents I just got in my last haul. Well, I think. Yeah, my birthday hauls. I show both of these. This is Versace. This is just plain Versace, I want to say. You can find this at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and etc. And this one right here is Versace the Dreamer. Now, Versace the Dreamer is actually a male scent. I did not know that. I did not know that. But Nicole loves it on me. So, it's very masculine. But it's very soft at the same time. Neither one of these are anything you need to run out and get right now, though. Same thing. Daytime brunch type scent. This right here is very nighttime because it's for a man, of course. But very good fragrances, but not my favorite. Now, let's hop into... Let's just do this. Versace Bright Crystal, Yellow Diamond, Versace Dreamer. All of these are... You don't really need them. Bonitas and these other two I'm about to show. Oh, run right now this is versace dylan blue this looks kind of awkward because this is not the top that go on it this was gifted to me from dealers also i work for dealers i do meet and greets for dealers and everything they give me whatever i want you guys have witnessed that in a few vlogs this was one that was gifted to me and oh my gosh i lost the top in a trend because they give me a so much stuff makeup and everything i lost the top in the process of bringing it home this right here is a do me baby scent it even say test on the back. I guess they be giving me their extra text testers. Oh, this is nighttime, date night. I'm trying to snag him. I want to be wifey. Um, you gonna marry me and I'm gonna have 12 kids. Where it is. That's it. That is it. I love that scent. Love it, love it. So sexy and romantic and just perfect. Versace, Dylan Blue. Now, of course, if I got two bottles of this, baby, 
if I got two bottles of this, what they tell you. So this is Versace Eros. A lot of you guys, y'all ain't grown enough for this. The Platinum 40. Hey, Platinum 40. This shit right here? <laughs> Girl. I got this from Mother's Day some years ago. What? Just that splat like that. Good. That's all you need. Don't put no more on. Don't put the uh. And I'm a big clothes person because the chemicals and the perfumes and stuff, I don't like them getting into my pores. That can make you sick. That's a whole nother video. But, girl, I spray my perfume on my clothes. And when I go to wash, it still be strong. Like, this is strong. This is nighttime. This is, this is, this is it right here. This is it. This is, I just got a divorce. I'm trying to get my groove back. I'm going to the club. This, and I want everybody going to turn their head when I walk by because they're going to smell this. This is how much I love it. This is how much I love it. If you guys can see how much of it is missing. I know the light is kind of bright. So, dealers gifted me with another one. Okay, I haven't got to this bottle yet. Because, of course, I still have more in here. Here's the thing, though. This one right here, perfume at toilet. It don't smell nothing alike. I ain't gonna say that. It smell different. It still smell like my arrows. It's just lighter and faint. So, I'm gonna use this, baby, because this is my shit, okay? But that just tells me the difference in these two. This is like, pow, packing a punch, and this is just like, mm. This is nighttime. This is daytime. You get what I'm saying? It makes a difference, guys. It makes a difference. So, we're going to hop on our Versace, and I'm just going to alternate these yeah, shirts. It's just some about people that smell good, men, women, kids, whatever they just get to me. That's why every time I get a scent, if I like it, I get it. Y'all ready? We about to get into some bangers right now. Y'all going to want to fight me. So, we got Baccarat right here. This has been a YouTube fave out of nowhere. Like, where did this even come from? This is a brand new bottle. I've never even sprayed this. Want to know why? Because I used a sample. And I don't really like this. <laughs> I get mine directly from France. Thanks to my sis, Miss Diva Like. If you love perfume, Miss Diva Like, Peyton. Um, it's a few other people I'll link below. I'm not a perfume, but some people out here know they perfume. I just know if it's stink and if it smells good and if I want it, okay? This was $300 roughly. You can't get it cheaper buying it directly from France. And it ships to you in like five days. Seriously, I don't know how they get this to you so fast. This is the middle size bottle, which is the 2.4 ounces. I just can't fall in love with this, y'all. I guess because I'm not a masculine scent person. We just had that discussion. So I'm going to just keep it moving because I ain't got nothing to say about it. And y'all going to want to fight me because y'all love it. But what I do love and which, what I wish I would have switched that on because it's made by the same person. What I do really, really, really love. Gentle Fluidy Gold. I got gold and silver. Well, sample. Silver, I actually like too. And my daddy love it. But I don't I don't think I'm going to buy it. But this right here. Oh, this this get you eight. No, <laughs> sorry. Woo. But, baby, let me tell you something. This right here, it's so sweet. But still, like, you get what I'm saying? It's sweet, but it's like, girl, girl. It's so sweet, but it is boss. It's like I got them coins. This is bum. I really wish I would have got the little bottle of this and the big bottle of this. So maybe, I don't know, I figured it out. Because I got to have a big bottle of this. Got to. No joke. And you do too. Now this is Givenchy Emma Ridge. Full bottle. Let me explain to this. I have been loving this since, since 8th grade. I went on an 8th grade orchestra trip. And my mama gave me this in my bag. And it just reminds me of that. Oh, it's just my, oh, it's just my man and mama, y'all. So I don't wear this. I just have it in my collection because of that. It's a great smell, but it's it's not. I don't think. Oh, oh, that 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 just bring back so many memories, guys. Cause I had this crush on this dude. I almost name dropped him. He was an upperclassman, and girl, I had sprayed on so much of that because I was trying to get him to notice me. Did not. Okay. <laughs> Gabrielle by Chanel. Y'all see this bottle still full, so I ain't going to even talk about it. Garbage. But I'm not giving that away because my baby girl got it for me for Christmas. Don't like it at all. 
still on Chanel Chance. Now, when I showed you guys this, I was like, oh, hell to the nine. Baby, I wore this one day and was like, this smells good. It grew on me. It just turned, see, both of these right here just smelled like a rich old lady. Girl up in, girl up in uh, JC Penney's or something. You get what I'm saying? But then when I wore it on me, that's why you got to wear it on you guys. Because I was spraying it on those boxes and it just wasn't giving me what it was supposed to be given. Gave. Give it. Okay? Love it now. Love it now. And it is one of the cheaper Chanel scents. Okay? So, speaking of Chanel, I got a sample of this. Not a sample. Uh, inspired by from Dossier, which I love also, but this ain't that video. So I'm gonna put this over here. This is actually Oriental One by Dossier of that, and it just prompted me to go and get the real thing. Now I got the big boy. No, I didn't. It's the middle boy. It's one bigger than this one. Coco Mademoiselle. This shit right. Baby, I'm gonna put some of this on right now. Spray my finger. I love it. It kind of give me rich old lady too. But it's sweeter, it's feminine, it's definitely nighttime, definitely nighttime. Definitely love this. I love this. I can't even believe I love this because I wasn't gonna give me Chanel no more tries. Girl, your purses and stuff cute, but your perfume is just giving me Blanche, Dorothy, <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> so, Tiffany and Co. This is the original. Woo! This is my baby right here. This is daytime every day go to work go to church go it smells so freaking good to me it's sweet it's just bummy i'm be, i'm gonna have a whole oh i love that i really love that this came from oceanas too i love that that makes me want to try more of her scents okay jimmy Choo. this is a little immature it's t it smells like kool-aid okay Cherry tropical punch strawberry Kool-Aid or something. There is strawberry in here, so that's why. But I'm I'm a little childish. I am a little 19 or sometime. It smells good to me. It smells really good and fruity. But I would like mix that with this. You know what I'm saying? I mix that with this a little bit. So I'm not going around smelling like I'm going to tenth, I mean eighth period at the high school. You get what I'm saying? Love it though, and it's very cheap. You can get this bottle for like $29 at like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or something like that. All right. Here's just my yellow diamond lotion. This is Nirvana. You remember when the black and white one got real popular? So this is lavender. And I only got lavender. Why? Come on. Crowd participation here. Amethyst. It's not even called lavender. God dang, Dodo. Because it's purple. And I should have left it right where I got it. <laughs> oh, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. You know that, you, this smell like the casino. You know what all Vegas casinos smell the same? When you walk in them, you just get hit with this. That's exactly what you smell like. Should have left, left that where it was at too. Okay, obviously I like this. Givenchy, what is it called? I didn't even know what it was called. Live irresistibly. I'm supposed to be going in order, so this should have been... Y'all get what I'm saying. Everyday sweet, just throwing and go. If you a little too grown for Bath & Body Works, you feel, because Bath & Body Works is universal. I don't know why y'all feel that way. Get something like this. It's sweet. It's everyday. Clearly, I use it a lot. <laughs> um, my sister, Miss Deep, like, didn't like this, but we clash on a lot of fragrances. That's about all we clash on, though, because that's my boo. But I love that. I love that. Girl, I got a lot more to go. Let me quit talking so much. Carolina Herrera. We all got this for the shoe, right? This is strong. Baby. And it sprays so hard. Wait a minute, because I don't want the accident to spray me. Y'all forgot what it smell like. I would not reach for this. But babe bought this for Christmas. So I can't sell it. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not like paper. You know how when paper get wet. That ain't what it smell like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It just don't, it just smells. Okay? It's just a fragrance. <laughs> All right, now, so let's move into this tray. Now, now, sus, I already took some of these scents out of here. I had them lined up. I thought by the, the designer or whatever. 
I had them lined up by the designer or whatever, but I've showed you guys a couple of them because they came from Oceana. So let's just start with Marc Jacobs. This is Honey, okay? Honey, I just got this like a week ago, if you guys saw in the vlog. Miss Diva Life said that that, girl, I, hello, so I need to pay you because I don't mention you about 80 times. But she said that this was one of her favorites and it's discontinued. So it was at Mark um, Ross for like 30 bucks. So I hunted, couldn't find it. And then one of you guys hit me and was like, hey, it's at the Ross on Wheatland. And I ran and got it. That's exactly what it smelled like. Honey, honey, honey. But I ain't gonna lie. Honey, honey. Okay, stop playing, Nikki. I really got this for the bottle to go with my dot. <laughs> I have been having dot for years. You guys know I love ladybugs. I refer to my mom as anytime I see a ladybug, I feel like it's my mom watching over me. So when they came out with this, I actually should have got two, three bottles because now this is discontinued too. So if I need another one, I'm going to have a hard time finding it. But I actually just wanted the twin to that, okay? Both of them smell okay, daytime scents, but it was more the bottle for me, sis, okay? I ain't going to even lie about that. Yeah. Yeah, I know I got about three bottles of these, but I didn't sit my little tray because I'm embarrassed, okay? Pink sugar. I, <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. This is, uh, this is so good to me. Why don't some of y'all like this? And it's only like 20 bucks, a little bottle, like $15. It's real childish. It's real uh, clueless. It's real drill team, cheerleader squad, 10th grade high school. But it smells good to me and it lasts all day and it's so sweet. You guys know my Yoni bar is this scent. <laughs> I just love pink sugar. It's it's my bath and body work, honestly. I could really throw this on every day after shower, going out, going to the my anywhere I go, I can throw this on because it's just sweet and feminine to me, and I love it, and it's cheap. It's like an oldie but a goodie. Y'all you know saying, y'all you know saying. Speaking of that, I found a dupe for it at Burlington called Sugar Pop, and they got one called Sugar Pop Cotton Candy. Now this just nine dollars, and it smells exactly the same. So if you think thirty dollars is too much to smell sweet, find this at Burlington. Okay, it's only nine dollars, ten dollars. It's nine ninety nine. So what I would like to move it to right now is YSL. So Mon Perry, this is pretty new to me too. I got this for Christmas, a whole gift set. It's good. It's sweet. It's everyday. No second guessing. What I want to be able to do is close my eyes and just reach in there and whatever I grab, I'm comfortable with it. I can't do that right now. There's still some stuff in here that has to go. Okay, this is very sweet, feminine. Fruity. It's fruit. Is it fruity? Girl, shoot. I got so much stuff. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It almost smell like red wine to me. Do y'all get red wine? I do. I love it though. I'll throw it on every day. I got a travel size or whatever in my purse. This right here. This. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all this one time. And y'all don't ever want to believe me. Y'all just always want to listen to everybody else. This is called Libra. Y'all don't hear LeBray trying to sound all fancy. This is why I say a Libra. And how I know that is during the holiday, they had a commercial running. And they were saying Libra, not LeBray. Okay? <laughs> this is date night. This nighttime, definitely. But I worried on the day. I do what I want. I'm a rebel. Okay? I wasn't too much on this. It was okay. I was going to keep it because the bottle is bum. Girl, I went to the doctor's office one time, though, and everybody named mama was asking me what I had on. Um, and it grew on me then. It grew on me then. Love it. Love it. Love it. Like I said, some of this stuff you actually have to wear. You actually have to wear it. That is definitely a favorite. Another YSL. Black Opium. <laughs> Bitch. Can y'all send me another bottle? Somebody. Ugh. But, 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 since this is so low, we're back on Dossier. I got, Dossier sent me the Inspire and it is Oriental Woody 1. So that's why I haven't purchased. It's like two more drops in here. Don't try to play me like that. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. This is a special edition bottle too. Um, but I have the Inspire Bar from Dossier. So that's why I haven't been in a rush to repurchase it. Alright. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. So still on YSL. I don't even know what this is called. But they bought this about three birthdays ago. It is Manifesto. A lot of people like this. I like the purple at the bottom of the bottle. I've used it a little bit, but it's not something I grab. It's not something I grab, sweetheart. It smells a little old ladyish too to me. It's a little too grown. It's a little too serious for me. Too serious. I wouldn't grab it, but the reason why she got it is because the ladies in the store was telling her it was one of the best, and she believed them, but guess what they all were? No offense to anyone, old white ladies. 
I'm not one of those. I'm not she, I'm not them, I'm not they. <laughs> okay. So let's move on to tongue four because this is actually the only tongue four scent that I have. Hold on, y'all. Somebody on my camera outside. This is the only tongue four scent I have, and I had I ordered the cherry one and it ended up getting lost in the mail and all this and they just gave me my money back and I never reordered it but I want the peach one too. I, I want the fruit and I want the one in the turquoise bottle because my sister's pretty real me way always talking about it. But I ain't gonna lie I was at the outlet and they had like 50% off and I just grabbed this and it was still high with 50% off. Tom Ford Velvet Orchid and y'all know I got this because of the bottle too but it actually smells good. I ain't about to spend no hundred dollars on no bottle. Girl, I got so much on me. Where is it? Let me spray my, my shirt. See, the thing with Tom Ford is all of their scents are like really masculine to me. Really masculine. So that's why I need the peach and the cherry and all that. Because that right there, it smells good, but it's still, it's real strong and manly to me. Not manly, but it's just strong. It, it ain't me. I told y'all what I like, okay? Don't try to fight me. Burberry. So we already talked about Burberry Her, my Burberry. Um, so let's talk about Burberry Sheer. Love this bottle. Hate this fragrance. <laughs> if I had to wear it, it'd be doing a day or something, but it just ain't giving me nothing. Burberry be giving me very much. Y'all know y'all too hot for y'all since to be smelling like this. Smelling like some stuff I can get from Rainbow. I don't like that. I don't like that at all with that one. This one right here is very, very, ooh, I don't remember. Burberry for women. This is Burberry for women. It smells a little better than the one I just showed, but it's still not giving me, you know, mm, you know what I'm saying? I spray it on, I wear it every day, but it's nothing I just have to go out and repurchase when I run out. Nah, sister ain't doing it. It ain't giving me go buy it again at all. So, Victor and Roth Flower Bum. This is a YouTube favorite for years, guys. And did y'all grow up? Or see, now y'all on Baccarat. Y'all don't forgot about Flower Bum. Y'all see how y'all do? Every day. This could be a nighttime scent, though, too. It's very sweet. Very feminine. Oh, I love this smell. But this kind of... When I smell this sometimes, I smell Casino, too. Casino air freshener type vibe. But it smells really good, and I love it, and I will keep it. But... I don't know if I just grab for it every day type stuff, but it do smell good. So we're going to move into, oh, see, I skipped around back on Burberry. Now, this will be my favorite Burberry scent. This is Burberry Body. Clearly, I like it, right? But I think my nose is maturing a little bit because I don't like it like I used to no more. I used to wear this every day, clearly. Now, I don't think I would grab for it. Yeah. We... We change. It's okay to change, guys. Don't ever let nobody make you feel bad because you changed or changed your opinion on something. I love, I used to love, love, love this. This is my second bottle of it, and this one is almost empty. But when it's empty, I won't repurchase it because now I'm on, my nose has matured a little bit more. Dior, I already showed you guys Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is Dior Jador. Jador. <laughs> Jador. <laughs> love this. This so dang light, though. See, y'all be capping on her. I'm keeping real. When you spray this, I don't even really feel like you can smell it no more. Like, throughout the day. It's so light. It's, it smells so good, but it just it just don't pop. It just don't pop, but I love your door. But I can't lie. Once I put it on, when I come home, I don't feel like I still smell like it. Does that make sense? Make it a little bit stronger, Dior. Make it a little bit stronger. Now, this right here is Giorgio Money C. So, I thought, I got scammed. This lady was like, me, me, I got all this stuff. I met her. I bought a whole bunch of stuff from her. I got home and was like, sis, this ain't it. But, 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 she refunded me. And I just kept the bottles to keep in here. But I would never spray this on because it's fake. You want me to do a video on how you can tell fake perfume? Because I spotted it right, right when I got in a call. Why didn't I spot it when I was buying it from her? I don't know I was doing too much at once, but right now I got a call and I was like, girl, this shit fake. The C ain't even even. It's like more to this side over here. 
It's supposed to be in the sun. What, what are you doing, son? What are you doing? And she charged $50 for it. That's what got me, girl. I could have got it real $50. And you, she didn't scam me because once... I don't know. I said she didn't scam me because once I told her it was fake, she gave my money back. But if I wouldn't have never told her it was fake, she would have let me get away with it, right? She would let me get away with it. Yeah, she would have. But there's nothing wrong. If you like per fake perfume, because I buy a replica purse, scarf, shoes in a minute. But tell me it's replica. Don't sell me nothing fake as real. That's where the problem come in at. Alright? So, this mini little tray over here and... Oh, I won't be done. I got a whole nother little thing behind me. So, let's get... So, guys, I'm just going to scoot back a little bit. And we're going to continue with that same discussion. Because she also sold me Gucci Bamboo. Which I had a lot of Gucci fragrances before. But when they went through that whole blackface thing, I got rid of all of them. And I'm buying this shit again. What? It's just like a relationship. You go back, you leave. You be so mad at them. And they, oh, okay, anyway. Um, I had Gucci Bamboo before. You can really tell this is fake. Look at the damn sticker. It's little stuff like that. Okay. So that was a red flag. And plus this is plastic. And on the real bottle, that's metal. So same lady. I bought both of those fragrances. Let's move on because I want to talk about that. Gucci Guilty. Now this was the only Gucci fragrance I didn't sell when all that happened. I love this but I hate how the bottle has tarnished. I actually had a big bottle and then I saw this blinged out bottle and just had to have this blinged out bottle and now it's turning on me. But as you guys can see I barely have some left. I barely have some left because this is it. I will wear this during the day, at night, every day, everywhere. I love this scent. Love, love, love this scent. Oh, it smells so good to me. Oh, I barely got some. What am I doing? What are you doing, girl? I ain't got nothing in the damn bottle almost. I just got to smell it. That's because I like it so much. I love that. I love that so much. So, I got Gucci Guilty Black. This is almost brand new. Someone gifted it to me for Christmas. Exact same thing. It's just a little bit more intense. So, when I run out, I still got some. Okay. So you don't need both, sis. You don't need both. You, unless you just collect it like me. I just have both because this bottle is blinged out. But you don't need both. Don't change a bunna. Light blue. Y'all get on my nerves. Y'all love this, uh, this grapefruit smelling ass mess. And I hate it. I hate it. I talked to her the other day. And it was just so childish to me. Now I can't talk because I love pink sugar. But this is a... This is a citrus mess, and I do not like it. And I got the big bottle. Whew. Let's move on. Here's another Gucci. This is Gucci Bloom. I think that they have different names. It's the pink bottle. I love this. It's so different. It's real grown, too. It's almost real old rich lady, too. I got this from Oceans. But I love it. I don't know why I love this so much. It just smells very nighttime. Oh, what is this? I love this. I, it's different. It don't smell like anything else in this collection. Like sometimes you can say it kind of smell like. No, it's just different. And I really, really like that. So two more, guys. Oop, no, I got more than two. Dolce and Gabbana, the one. It's this one. And this is Dolce and Gabbana. Dolce and Gabbana. Love both of these. They are both daytime scents daytime date night cute floral springy type scents okay nothing to call home mama nothing to call home to mama about but they do smell really really good and i love them so i also got this little container back here and this is where i house like all of my scent birds because you know guys know i used to plug scent bird a lot so all of my scent birds are in here Let's see what's in this Scentbird container. Versace Eros. <laughs> but I have them in a lot of different colors in here. Um, a lot, a lot of different colors. Here's some of my lotions. Versace Bright Crystal, Mon Paris. This is um, Black Opium. Those are the lotions. Um, here's some of my roller balls in here. This came from Burlington too. The price tag is probably still on it, honey. Yeah, it was $14.99. All right, so yeah this is like samples lotion all that is in here but i do have this in here because it won't stand up so this is whoo what's the name of this angel 
Angel Perfume by Muggler. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I love this. They love this too. Baby. They told me to wear this Valentine's Day, but we were snowed in. Sus love it. I love this. It's very expensive though, but I got it at Burleson for $50. But in Sephora right now, it's like 80 bucks. And look at this. Look at this little stuff. I hate you can get a display for this, but it ain't that serious to me. I hate this bottle though. Like I hate that. But this is nighttime. This is not, it's not even real feminine, so I'm surprised I like it. Oh, I smell citrus in it too. I'm surprised I like it, but I do. I don't know why. Let me tell you something about fragrances. Sometimes you, ooh, I'm gonna break it. Sometimes you gotta just let it sit and do its thing. Like, you're not going to get whether you like it or not right off top. And that's one of those things because I had to let it, like, dry down. Dry down is what it call, it's called. I had to, like, let it dry down and figure out if I really liked it and I love it. See, now, it ain't ready right now. <laughs> dry down, small boo. <laughs> it ain't ready right now, but it smells really, really good, okay? So, that's everything, you guys. This is going to change weekly. Every week, I just get a and go out and buy a bottle like this week my bottle i bought was the um gold fluidy last week it was the coco chanel i just see stuff and be picking it up and like i said i'm gonna purge and i have a lot of cousins and stuff so i said i'm gonna sell these but i always be gifting stuff y'all know i give my whole life away if i could so if you guys have any questions leave them below okay don't forget to check out oceanas and i know this video is probably 50 minutes long so i'll holler at y'all in my next video bye